back on, then go to unknown sources, then hit Minecraft and it should let us use the controller now. If it doesn't, then I have to get completely out of the Oculus and turn it off and turn it back on because it's probably a memory error or something. It seems to be working now. Play. And are we recording here? We're recording there. I cleared off space on my iPad, so I'm going to do this. My usage is now at 27.6 megabytes. That's nothing. It's like some of the... Um, I go around the store and I'll, I'll see these displays. Like there's um, somebody that makes these pita chips. And they made this big deal. They said, we're putting $300,000 towards... Uh, um, putting, putting, uh, making it easier for women entrepreneurs to get jobs or something. And I go and do a back of the mind calculation. I like to, what I like to do is divide it by how many people there are in America. And the, and the result is, um, $300,000. If you were to distribute it among the people in America, it would equate to about a tenth of a penny. Is how much that is. So unless you can say that we've contributed about a penny for every person in America, um, which would be about three million dollars, it's probably not worth saying anything about. Three hundred thousand to me for somebody and what they were doing basically says to me free advertising, free advertising, nice public relations. We we need advertising. We don't have the money for advertising, so we'll. We'll do something that looks terrible, and it's probably the case that one of their women entrepreneurs gave themselves a check for three hundred thousand dollars. Then it gave them enough rights to actually put it on their, their, on their, their materials that we put three hundred thousand dollars into women entrepreneurs. And that's that's the thing these days is that the things people pat themselves on the back for and. You know that to make a big deal to make some sort of um, expression that they're making change in the world doesn't really make sense you know um, people who go to charities um, go there just to be seen they want people to see them it's more a public relations or event. it has nothing to do with the charity the charity they get, may get some money out of it, but it's probably not like a significant amount to the charity. Maybe it is, but it's like a drop in the bucket. You know, even a tenth of their salary that that week. You know, it's not even comparable to what you're supposed to give at church. And people don't even give that kind of money at church either. You know, you. I mean, when do you ever give a tenth of your salary? It, you know, people. That's kind of what's expected of you at church is that you give a tenth of what you make to God. And um, how many people actually do that? You know? So if you can't tip the guy at the grocery store, what does that say about your monetary giving at church? You know, It's probably the same sort of deal. It's probably no different. You know, you can say, well, you don't do that at church. Well, I don't get to go to church where I work. I'm not permitted to work on Sundays. I have to work. I mean, I, I'm not permitted to go to church on a Sunday. I have to work because that's the biggest time at a grocery store to go. And that's the that's when most of the people at grocery stores are working are on Sundays. So if you know anybody that's at a grocery store has a job at a grocery store, they don't get to go to church. And it seems to really hold true for. Whoa. Uh oh. There's something wrong with my video. Save, save, quit. I'm gonna have to come back into this. It was showing me nothing. That's really strange. Well, hopefully the video is gonna be there whenever I come back here. It was completely dark.
Now we have water. See, I'm not going to do that kind of business. I'm not going to go up in the water and not see anything. It's not flying with me. Okay, I need more. I need more uh, ladders. That's something I need here. Oh, look, there's some diamond. Nice. Diamond. I got two. Uh, it's going to be really interesting to go up. Is there a way up here? No, there isn't. It just, we've got these big caverns of water in this, in this biome. It's full of water caverns. So I need more, do I have enough rock? I do have enough rock, I can fill this out. I don't even need to, I can do it the, the other way of doing this, this bit by filling it up with rock and then taking out the rock is the other way of doing this. So and it's lava down below too. get some air pretty easily here just by knocking some holes in here going through this. Uh oh I'm go through here and air easier. That was easy. So in real life that wouldn't happen, but uh, that's virtual reality for you. It's not real. to go above you too so you yeah. know fill this up with stone to fill that up with stone fill that up with stone I was just digging at that because it was there. I got the diamond in the way that I need to pick up. Okay, I'm going to go back up here and come down again. It would be nicer to have some, some... I think I'll go back to base and get started. Actually, probably, no, there's no way up there. Still recording? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. mm, I should probably pick a good place to go up. This is probably up right here. Somewhere in here. This would be a good place to go up. Probably no water up this way. Another way to do this is to go around in a spiral. Do this. You do this. You go up to two. Turn around and go up another tube like that. Up with that. My part. Hey, here's some wood. This is exactly what I need, too. I need a X. So, get some wood. Solve that problem. No spiders. 
these are, this stuff is really good for underwater work. It's almost the same as what you would get with ladders. You can do with this stuff. And I have some diamond down there. I could make myself an axe out of diamond. That would be nice. Um, get the rest of this. Oh, water will take up um, a lot of the stuff that's on the ground here. Ooh. So you put that on, and then that just gets really tracked. That's um, really good for that. And do that here too. in here. A little bunch of torches. And it looks like pumpkin seeds. So take out all the torches and take that and actually just move that stuff in there. Put that up there. Bring this stuff down. That. Just trade it out there. Got some. I can. I can make some. I can take this dirt, and if I have some, I could just do that here. You know, just for the fun of it. Um, make uh, make some. Thing. I'm really, really close to some water here. This would not be really, really close to water. I'm going to go down here. There's some water. Some, uh, I'll make a ladder. I'll get, I'll get something. Hmm. Am I facing I'm way over here? Let's look over, over here. There, there we go. Uh, okay. I'll just mine some more. Uh, I just wanted the water first, so I could, I could make some more. Uh, I could, I could get a. So you need two buckets of water to make infinite water. And you're saying infinite water, what do you mean by infinite water? And every, everybody who knows Minecraft knows this, the parents probably don't. And that's, I'm really making this for the parents. Because they need that time to spend with their kids and they don't really know Minecraft. And they really kind of blow off Minecraft. So now it's an excuse to learn it because it's going to be something you're going to be able to put in your virtual reality headset. And by me showing it to you and talking about political matters, it's going to completely bore the heck out of your kids. Your kids are going to leave the room and you can be there listening to my, my commentary, things that I have to talk about. So this is what we do. We put one down there. And, uh, Take another one up and then we put it just a little bit down below. And we take another. Actually, I can get done with just one, but I needed two pails of water to create the water. Okay. And I need a little more, and then I can get the rest with what's in probably the entire set. So this end, put it down here. And you see, as long as it's. As long as it's 
flat it's okay. Now me playing this, being my age and playing this, uh, gives you absolutely no excuse now not to play this game. The only thing that you could write me off as is being crazy. And uh, that would probably be a good way to get out of this. But um, I don't think that's even relevant either because we're all, as you probably know, there are people you in your own family that are crazy. So um, crazy is just something that becomes probably as a result of our brains not being able to store information accurately anymore and because of all the stress, then the conceptualization breaks down and, and we, as a result, become kind of a little bit bad. And somebody who thinks as intellectually as me is probably going to have even a harder time saying, no, you're crazy. And then you start talking to them about things like the reason why traffic jams occur because of excessive greed of space and because you're stressed out and you know the reason why people don't, uh, don't, don't think when they're stressed according to the certain Polish research the reason why people don't think when they're stressed is because he believes that it is a, a it is a um, when you're stressed it, it, it triggers a part of your system that is about saving your life and you get stressed whenever a lion comes near and you fear, have fear for your life. There are reasons why people commit suicide is when they fear they're losing their job, they commit suicide. That, that That's an act of being stressed. So if you're stressed out over your job and you you have fear that your job is axed, um, that's stress. And that stress causes you to stop thinking. And the reason why is because your body goes into survival mode. It's not that it could actually solve the problem by going into survival mode, but the stress is there because um, it's you have a fear of something that you have no control over. So, and I just explained to you stress. And the stress is the reason why we have traffic jams is because when you are in a traffic jam, everybody is trying to get as much space between them and the and people in front of them so they can get faster to where they need to go. But if their brain was actually working, they would realize that they can't get anywhere fast no matter how, you know, if you sat behind, 100 feet behind the cars that are in front of you and, and just kept that space, even if there was people going in front of you, none of you are gonna get anywhere fast no matter how much space, how much space you save between you and the cars that are in front of you. It's, it's because our brains, when we're stressed, we don't think. We, we, we're in survival mode. Our brains are trying to, trying to solve the problem of survival, and, and it's stressing us out to do that. So the solution to the problem is, is to avoid the stress, and one of those is to maybe go to work earlier rather than waiting at the last minute. Um, Prayer is, is a good example, something that will relieve stress, because if you put things in a prayer and you give it to a higher being, then maybe um, you can take your mind off of it, and that's the hope. But you don't think when you're stressed, and, and it's a perfect example. It's a good little psychological test you can do in any traffic jam is to put 100 feet between you and the guy in front of you, and the guy in front of you I mean, and the guy in back of you is going to look at you as being like from another planet. And they will go and they will, they will, you know, there will be all this space and they will know as much as you know that there's no way, even if they took the space in front of you, they're only going to make a hundred feet. It's like they're watching football, like they're going to get some yardage, like getting some yardage is going to win the game for them. It's not. It's that they're, um, and not taking that space, um, it doesn't even enter into their, you know, they don't get to, to realize the fact that they're not going to get anywhere fast. Um, and they complain about the guy in front of them, and the reality is, is that they're going to get nowhere fast. It's a nice little, it's a, like, a nice little psychological um, thing that you can carry out. The reason why all this stuff is jumping out is that I don't have any torches here. You need sunlight, otherwise the the stuff doesn't hold. So if I have torches, then it will, it will remain. So I'll do it again.
again. And that stuff will stay in there if, it, if there's torches over it. And I could actually make this a bit longer, so I got more seed on the it. But this is a game that you could relieve some stress, and you could go into this game. I don't know if it relieves stress all that much, but you know, a while ago I was feeling something that did feel kind of like, kind of, I've been having pains that kind of remind me that get, give me the feeling or the experience of something that I get whenever I get high blood pressure. And, uh, I don't know, maybe this game stresses me out, I don't know, but, uh, anyhow, the, um, if you get stressed and you're in traffic, um, you're going to make really bad decisions, you're going to be listening to radio, that's going to be a distraction, but on top of that, you're not making good choices anyhow, because the guy in front of you isn't really taking is not, is not getting, you know, even if he's 100 feet behind the guys in front, the guys in front are still going to be the, going the same speed, and he's going to still be going the same speed. If you're not thinking about what he's doing, then, and, and he's not really doing enough to, to cause you trouble, and you see him as taking up space, it's, you know, it's saying that your brain's not working, and everybody that passes you, it's like, um, it's like you're, if, if people are passing you, if you're 100 feet in front of cars in front of you, and they're not going any faster than you're going faster, and you're 100 feet behind them and holding that space, the people that are passing you are dumber than you. That's what it's saying. They're, they're practically stupid. They think you're stupid, they're passing you, but they're dumber because they're not really reasoning that they're not going to get anywhere fast even if they do pass you. They just feel that they're not getting anywhere fast. And so they're, in their brain it's saying, if I get past you, then I'll be able to, I, I, I'll get there faster because I'm taking the space in front of you. The reality is, is that the traffic jam is caused by people taking too much space between each other because when someone suddenly stops for any reason, then it causes a kind of a, it causes a kind of domino effect of stopping people. The person who stopped ends up slowing down. He stops and then he starts up again, but the guy behind him has to stop because he stopped. So that guy stopped and then the guy behind him had to stop because he stopped. And eventually you have a lot of people that are stopping and starting not fast enough and you get a traffic jam. That's how a traffic jam starts. So the solution to alleviating traffic jams is fairly simple. All you do is you just try to keep enough space between you and the car in front of you, and it makes sense from a officer's standpoint. This is what they tell you in driving schools to keep uh, as much distance between you and the guy in front of you uh, in proportion to your speed. So if you're going 70 miles an hour, you should spoke according to all those driver tests that you took, and you probably just regurgitated the information and didn't even bother to even care or be concerned about what it said in those books. What it said was you're supposed to, if you're going 70 miles an hour, then you keep about 70 feet between you and the guy in front of you. If you're going 100 miles an hour, you keep 100 feet between you and the guy in front of you. That's to give you enough time to actually stop before the guy, the guy, if the guy stops, it gives you enough time to react so that you can stop before you hit the guy that's in front of you. That's the reason why we get car wrecks is because people get point blank behind the guy in front of them. And in the and when they took driver's ed, they just completely ignored the rhetoric in the book that said you don't do that. You know, they just do it anyhow because somehow they think that they're doing the world a service by uh, making use of all the extra space that's on the road. The people that are working on the artificial intelligence, including my own brother is working for Google to work on this problem. All they're working on, it proves that Google is just as stupid as that guy that takes up the space in front of you. They're talking about cutting down on the space between cars by getting them to all work in concert. But you see, you still have the same problem. The cars are not gonna have enough time to stop uh, if a stop, car stops in front of them. Uh, even if the, if the cars were all uh, linked together with networks, it would not solve the problem. And so why are we even researching it? And 
it's obvious stupidity. It's we we have stupid people in our midst, and it ain't me. <laughs> Because I am actually thinking, and it doesn't seem like anybody else is. It's it's kind of really sad, and um, it's also kind of a, a reason for me to start to realize that I'm probably not in the same existence I was. This is where I go crazy. In the same existence where I was that I born I was born into, that the people that I was born to and the people that I grew up with and all of that, that went into another existence and the people that are here in this existence are, are NPCs. If you play RPGs, and this is probably going to piss you off if you actually are thinking and are a human and you believe that you're alive and you hear this, this will probably piss you off that I'm saying that you're not even real. But it's possible that I'm a copy of a guy in a different universe that's saying this to you, and the people around you are not real, you know. And um, it's it's possible that the the great person in the sky actually keeps us in little holder cells to keep us from having any access to people if we get to understand too much. And I think that's what it is in my case, is that I also, I'm actually thinking about things, and this would ruin it for everybody if I was to tell everybody what's going on here, you know. So, it's possible that nobody will ever see this, and that's the reason why I say this, is things that I talk about, um, that people, I mean, I've had discussions in my store with people about this, and they don't see the logic. And the logic is that um, it makes no sense what people are doing at Google. Um, building cars to drive themselves sounds good on paper, but the thing is, is that you have to think of the contrary argument. Okay, um, how easy would it be to sabotage that technology? Um, all you have to do is put a kid in front of a car that's driving at 70 miles an hour that's computer controlled and the, and the and the AI it doesn't have enough time to really recognize that it's a child walking across the street or maybe it's a child walking across the street that's wearing um, a Pokemon um, some Pokemon clothes or maybe it's wearing something that's that only somebody who really understands what is in front of them would know and a computer couldn't possibly know and that is um, when something out there that's is, is it a piece of trash is it a kid on the ground having three-dimensional information about such things is not going to um, you're not going to be able to predict what it is out there and you have to literally be a thinking individual to make the decision as to what to do and AI is not going to have any effect on that um, AI would have to reach singularity to like actually be able to drive a car. And so having it, uh, AI, the problem of solving the problem of driving cars with AI is really not a very good example of how to, to, to work with AI. I think a better one is how to run companies with, you know, replace CEOs with AI. I think that's an easier problem to solve because you've got plenty of data on that. You know, any time a corporation has to, um, any time a corporation has to uh, make a choice about how to get stock price up, um, they respond to things happening in the stock market. You can do that with computers. Computers can respond to what's happening in the stock market. They can they can re they can make some decision about like what the company is doing, what other companies are doing, what their stock's doing. You can make uh, rules based on that sort of thing. You could probably just have an AI sitting around watching a CEO make decisions and then collect information from those decisions and then possibly replace the CEO at some point in the future. See what I'm doing here? I'm, I'm raising an argument that's relevant, that um, it's easier to teach AI how to, so to, to play a game than it is for AI to predict what's going to come up in front of it on in 3D on a road. Road seems like a simple problem, but it's actually harder to make a car drive itself accurately and be able to predict and, 
and what things are coming in front of it because it's in the best interest of a Luddite to um, sabotage technology that might put his job at harm and that would be truck drivers. And so if you're replacing truck drivers with AI, which is what they're talking about, the truck drivers are going to figure out ways to sabotage the AI. So you have to start thinking of counter arguments to what happens if we replace the technology. If we replace people with technology, what are the people going to do to counteract this? And so then you have to plan sabotage um, types of thinking, how you're going to deal with sabotage. And that's what people in high places don't seem to think about, which makes me wonder if the people in high places are even the same people that I grew up with. Are people like them? That they're even real, that I'm even live I'm on Earth at all. That this is just a figment of my imagination that this existence is even real, is the question. And so, then that's the reason why I put these videos up that are all crazy and stuff is because, you know, at least I try to, to confront the problem and then maybe somebody out there will get my message in the bottle and, you know, kind of like that song from the, the police, you know, if anybody remembers the police and then if people don't remember the police, then I know I'm not in the same universe as the one I grew up in. There's little, there's little hints along the way that kind of let me know that I'm not, I'm not in the world I grew up in. One of them is people playing stupid games like Beat Saber and thinking it's the greatest thing since sliced bread. But all you're doing is you're just slapping blocks to the time of music. That's not a, a really a very good game. It's a very bad game. I mean, Tetris is even better than that. And you know, I can, somewhere up here is some lava. Minecraft is more fun than Beat Saber. I don't know why people play Beat Saber. That's, you know, it's just a matter of taste. It's a matter of really bad taste. Uh, I'm better, I, I can prove to it that, that I'm better at music than other people. I'm going to start singing some songs, and I'm going to jump between them. After I've sung maybe two sentences, I'm going to jump to the next song. And I'll show you that I know about the lyrics to maybe about 20 songs. And once I'm done, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll quit it. So maybe for the rest of this video, am I still recording? I'm going to sing, uh, I'm just going to sing random songs. So, um, a more human Mikado never did in Japan. It says, to know the second I'm certainly directing a truth from that for this. It is my better humane endeavor to make the song sing. Each evil will live a running river of harmless merriment. My object was sublime, I shall achieve in time. Don't let the punch me fit the crime, the punch me fit the crime. It makes me spend some pain, it's a really represent a source of innocent merriment, of innocent merriment. A browser does the side to sign should be terribly to more. I've sent you service from Mr. Pajama to preach content to four. The amateur tennis with the tennis all desire to shirk. Should there enough hours, is it as far as man to soul source work? The lady who dies at chemical yellow stands her grave refuse. The pinches of figures pain with vigor and from a wall of juice. The idiot who in railroad carriages scribbles on window panes. We only suffer to ride on a buffer and polyometry trains. My object on sublime, my shall achieve a dime. To let the punishment fit the crime, the punishment fit the crime. A make each person a pain to really represent a soul of innocent merriment of a dismerriment. All pro um, a pro what is it, um, all advertising crack who is a tales of cat mascaras, such as it might, um, the tales of town to scares my, uh, their teeth I have an actress all get extracted by terrified amateurs, a musical singer, teens of singers, a massive gooks and ops, by Bach and Owen, and Westborn, Beethoven, and classical Monday Pops, the deal, the billiard shop who anyone catches his dreams extremely hard, he's made to dwell in a dungeon cell and spot that's always barred, and there he plays extravagant matches of fitless finger stalls, and a cloth and two with a twisted cue and elliptical billiard balls, my object all sublime, I shall achieve in time, to let the punishment fit the crime, the punishment fit the crime. Where, wait one second. I've got cobblestone there and I've got sticks there. Why am I not seeing what is wrong? Oh, I'm not doing that. That's what's wrong. Okay. And so I know that song and, and so then I'll go to, um, let's do some Beatles. So I know about 10 Beatles songs, lyrics and all. So, um. Do 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 do
When I get old, I lose my hair many years from now. Will you still be sending me a valentine? What was I going about me? Uh, okay. What? I was going to make something. Okay. Oh, I, re I, I don't have a... What I should do before I do this is go down and get my, my diamond out of the... So I'm going to get the rest of this wood and I'm going to make a diamond pickaxe. So when I get older, I lose my hair many years from now. Will you still be sending a valentine, birthday greetings, bottle of wine? If I've been out till quarter to three, would you lock the door? Will you still need me? Will you still feed me when I'm 64? Mm -hmm. You'll be older too. Mm -hmm. And if you say the word, I could be with you. Da 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 da. If I could be handy in mending a fuse when your lights have gone, you can just sweat up by the fireside. Sunday morning, go for a ride, doing the garden, digging the weeds. Who could ask for more? Will you still need me? Will you still feed me? When I'm sixty-four, don't, don't, don't. Every summer we could rent a cottage in the eye of the light. If it's not too dear, we shall scrimp and say, mm -hmm. Grandchildren on your knee, Nundu, Vera, Chuck, and Dave. Da 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 I could be hand, er, send me a postcard, drop me a line, stating point of view, indicate precisely what you mean to say, you're sincerely wasting away. Give me your answer, fill in a form, and I only got two diamond out of it. What was that? And I used the special pickaxe, didn't I? The special pickaxe, I did. Fortune three, and I only get two, two diamond. And so let's go to the next song. Uh, and so, da 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 da. That's a girl, what she wanted to be. She said, baby, can't you see? I want to be famous, a star on the screen. And you can do something in between. Baby, you can drive my car. Da 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 da, baby. So this is gonna be a star. Da 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 da, baby. You can drive my car. And baby, I love you. Da 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 da. I told that girl that my prospects was good. She said, baby, it's understood. Working for peanuts is all very fine. But I can show you a better time. Baby, you can drop my car. Da, 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 da. Yes, I'm gonna be a star. Da, 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 da. Baby, you can drop my car. And baby, I love you. Da, 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 da. Yes, I'm gonna be a star, da 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 da. Baby, you can drive my car, and baby, I love you, da 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 da. I told that girl that I start right away. She said, "Listen, baby, I got something to say. I got no car, and it's breaking my heart. But I found a driver, and that's a start. Baby, you can drive my car, da 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 da. Yes, I'm gonna be a star, da 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 da." Okay, there's that. Let's do some more. Yeah, let's do some follow notes. I see you, and you see me. What you blowing those lies when you're making a scene? Oh, girl, you gotta know what my head overlooks. The senses will show to my heart when it's watching for lies, cause you can't escape my private eyes. Been watching you, they see your every move. Private eyes, they're watching you. Private eyes, they're watching you, watching you, watching you. Whoa. Mm -hmm. 
You play with words, you play with love. You can twist it around, baby. That ain't enough, cause girl, I'm gonna know if you're letting me in or letting me go. Don't lie when you're hurting inside, cause you can't escape my private eyes. Watching you, they see your every move. Private eyes, they're watching you. Private eyes, they're watching you. And then it says, Girl, you're trying to put a front up for me. I'm a spy, but on your side, you see, slipping forth into any disguise. You don't know you look into my private eyes. They're watching you. They see your every move. Private eyes, they're watching you. Private eyes, they're watching private eyes. And then, okay. And, uh, I can't sing as high as Daryl Daryl Hall, but I can sing I can sing like uh, Steve Perry is a lot easier to sing. It, it sounds like he's singing high, but not as high as Daryl Hall sings. And Steve Perry says, "You make me weak." And I don't know any lyrics to Journey songs. I'm just singing this because I like to sing like Steve Perry. So you make me weak. I wanna die just when you say we try. Nothing touches me is in each other. When you're in your day, you're telling me how No what can I say? There's nothing touches me is in. But if that it won't be long. Tell me that you because I haven't been out. I'm just touching, it's touching. Some XTC. Never been near university. Never took a paper or a letter degree. Some of your friends think it's stupid of me, but it's nothing that I care about. Well, I don't know how to tell the weight of the sun and the mathematics of love or none. And I may be the mayor of Singleton, but I know one thing that I love you. When their logic comes cold and no thinking gets done, you'll be warm in the arms of the mayor of Singleton. Couldn't have been there when brings her hand around. Please be abstaining from the mere simple tip. But get past the cover of your books profound. Please be abstaining from the mere simple tip. But some of your friends think it's really unsound. Should even be talking to me. Well, I don't know how to tell the way to the or I don't know how to write a big hit song in the crossword puzzle to the logician. Then I may be the mayor to sing a bulletin, but I know one thing, and I'm not high enough to actually get diamond. And, uh, I just realized that just now. Uh, so you can't even think while you're singing. Uh, well, I never learned much. Uh, well, I'm not proud of the fact that I never learn much, just feel I should say. Da, 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 da. All you get is all real, I can't put on an act, it takes brains to do that anyway. Yes, anyway, well, I can't unravel oh, wrinkles, problems, and puns in the home computer, plenty on the road, and I may be the mayor of single time, but I know one thing in that I love you. I love you. The depth of feeling is a currency. Please be upstanding for the mayor of Simpleton. Then I'm the man who grew the money tree. No chain of office and no hope of getting one. Well, some of your friends think it's really, uh, things are to bring to see that you're, they're poppers and that's how they all stay. Well, I don't know how many pounds to make of a ton of all the Nobel prices that I've never won. And I may be the mayor of Simpleton, but I know one thing and that's I love you. When their logic and cold and nothing he gets done, you'll be warm in the arms of the mayor of Simpleton. You'll be warm in the arms of the mayor of Simpleton. You'll be warm in the arms of the mayor. Please be upstanding for the mayor of Simpleton. Please be upstanding for the mayor of
the simpleton. And, you know. and we could do, how about the, uh, let's see, the recorder's still going? Okay. And the recorder's still going here, so hopefully we'll get this down. Uh, so let's do another hard one. Um, smash Mouth, um, Walking on the Sun. Okay. And I need some food. I have a golden apple. Uh, that's the only food I've got. No, I, I've got steaks. What the heck am I saying? There's some steaks staring me in the face. Uh, okay. Put the steak away. Okay. I'm, what I'm doing is I'm looking around for some darn and I, I probably should just go back to base. But we'll do this song. I'll be I'll be digging for diamond long. Um, I'll be singing the Smash Mouth song. Do, 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 do. Da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da
da, da, da. She, we never thought of ourselves as leaving. Never a thought for ourselves. Da, da, da. Oh, we did a, a we struggled all of our lives to get by. She's leaving me home after living alone for so many years. Da, 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 da. And then it goes. Friday morning at nine o'clock, she is far away, da 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 da, da waiting to she keep the appointment she made, meeting a man from the motor train. What did we do that was wrong? Is having we didn't know it was wrong. Fun, fun is the one thing that money can't buy. Something inside that was always denied for so many years. Dun, dun, dun. She is leaving home. Bye, bye. Dun, 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 dun. And that's a song you're not supposed to sing by yourself. It's something that's sung by multiple people, which makes it hard. And uh, so now let's do some Elton John. Um, what happened here? Okay, this is a song that he will not sing himself because it was written uh, as a uh, tribute to John Lennon, which is a dear friend of his. Um, jo Elton John was the guy who brought John and Yoko back together again. It was at a concert that Elton held. Um, he got both of them to go to, and it was there that they met each other. And so Elton prides himself, and kind of secretly probably, that he was the guy that brought his friends back together. At least that's the story I heard. And uh, it isn't in the movie um, that he did this, but that that was something probably really private. Or uh, and he, I guess in the movie, according to the movie, the Rock Man, that his last name John that he picked because it's not his original name was inspired by um, his hero. I guess was um, John Lennon, and uh, you know, kind of. A hero of sorts, you know, somebody he looked up to. And uh, anyhow, we'll see the song and it says, What happened here? Has a New York sunset disappeared? I found an empty garden by the flagstones there. Who lived there? He must have been a gardener. I like singing like Elton John too. He must have, and Elton John. Uh, there's there's this song, there's uh, one of um, William Shatner doing Rocket Man, and Elton John seems like well, William Shatner would sing if William Shatner had wasn't toe deaf, tone deaf, which he is. Um, that's the reason why he raps; he doesn't sing. Um, he would sound like he would sound like uh, if if it would be. What happened here as the New York Sun? That's what, what William Shatner would probably sound like if he could sing, you know. What happened here? Which is really close to what happened here, which is the way Elton John sings. So, so what happened here as the New York Sun said disappeared? I found in the empty garden by the flagstones there. Who lived there? There must have been a garden that they cared a lot. Who weeded at the teas and go good crap. Now it all looks strange. It's funny how one insect, one insect could damage, and he's talking about the guy who killed um, John Lennon, uh, so much grain. Da -da -da -da. And what's it for? This empty garden by the brownstone door, and in along the cracks of the sidewalk, nothing grows no more. Who lived there? He must have been a gardener that cared a lot and weeded out the tears and grow good crop. And we are so amazed, we're crippled and we're dazed. A gardener like that one, no one can replace. And I've been knocking, but no one answers. And I've been knocking most of the day. And I've been calling, hey, 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 Johnny, can you come out to play? Da -da -da -da. And through their tears, some fairy found his bus in younger years. But they said, said he found the roots grow stronger. If only he could hear who lived there. He must have been a garden that he cared a lot. Who weeded out the tears and grow good crop. Now we pray for rain. And with every drop that falls, we hear, and I like to add this one, we hear John Lennon's name. 
And I've been knocking, but no one answers. And I've been knocking most of the day. And I've been calling, hey, hey, Johnny, can you come out to play? And I've been knocking, but no one answers. And I've been knocking most of the day. And I've been calling, hey, hey, Johnny, can you come out, can you come out to play? Johnny, can you come out to play in your empty garden? Johnny, can you come out to play in your empty garden? Okay, so how many Elton John fans can sing that one? Okay, I can sing another Elton John tune. How about Rocket Man? She packed my bags last night, free flight. How, and who can start off at the right pitch? Zero hour, 9 a.m. And I'll be high as a kite by then. Dun, 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 dun. I miss the earth so much. I miss my wife. It's lonely out in space on such a tideless flight. Dun, 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 dun. And I think it's going to be a long, long time. Touch just stand brings me around again to find. I'm not the man to think I've ever met home. I never don't know. I'm a rocket man, rocket man, burning out of spheres out here alone. And I think it's going to be a long, long time. Touch touch down, please, we know to get too far. I'm not the man I think I'm going to go home. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, I'm a rocket man, rocket man, burning out of spheres out here alone. Mars ain't a place to raise a kid. In fact, it's cold as hell, and there'll be no one there to raise up if you did. In all the science, I don't understand it. It's just my job five days a week. Run, Rocket Man. Rocket Man. Is this what I came back for? And I think it's going to be a long, long time. Josh, I said, Reeves, we're out again to find. I'm not the man they think I am at home. Oh, no, no, no. I'm a rocket man, rocket man, burning out of peace out here alone. Doom, doom, doom. And I think it's going to be a long, long time. Actually, I think he does another round, but that, I just did it. So, some stuff there. And I'm doing the. And this is things that. Elton John could probably do with his kids too, and probably does do with his kids, and you know, and you're, and you probably like really bug that uh, that I know how to do this, and you don't, and I can do this with your kids, and you can't. Um, don't hate me because I'm beautiful. Okay, you remember that? You remember that uh, advertisement? Now you know I am 50 years old because I can remember advertisements like that. Like you've been a long way, baby. Which which one was that from? Can you remember? That was a Virginia Slims cigarette commercial. Back when cigarette commercials were on TV. They're not on TV anymore. Because they can't be on TV. That's, I think the law doesn't permit them to have cigarette commercials on. But they did back whenever I was young. And, uh, and uh, how about, um, let's see, another one. Ancient Chinese Secret. There we go. There's another one. Uh, let me think of another one. Uh, um, of course, you can find these things in videos, but I am the age. I, I can tell you. Um, let's see. What's another one? Um, real men don't eat quiche. Uh, real women don't pump gas. That was in the 80s. Um, that was a book. Uh, men are from Mars, women are from Venus. Um, and that all came about as a result of um, um, women's rights and people and men who didn't think they really had the right to to work and things like that, which was really kind of a common thing in the eighties. And um, so people would come out with books and that were about the battle with sexes because that was a big deal in the eighties. And uh, oh shit. That's, that's scary. That people have fallen into lava. And, and, and this is deep lava, I'm pretty sure. I don't know why I even did that. Going around that like that. So there's, there's 
flaw that I'm there, maybe. So, I don't know why I did that. I'm just, I'm doing stuff. I'm not even thinking. I'm talking. I was singing earlier, so I know about 30. Uh, I know 60. I, mean, I know over 60 tunes. The problem is, is that I don't know the tunes that I know, the 60 tones that I know by heart. I don't remember the names of them. Uh, I, I know some Donald Fagan. I've got about three or four Donald Fagan songs. I've got about 10 or 11 Beatles songs. I've got about three Hall & Oates songs. I, I know Sarah Smiles. I know uh, uh, Kiss on my list and the one I just sing, you know, Private Eyes. Um, I had that Smash Mouth. I know I have an Elvis Costello radio radio. I know by heart and um, or most of it by heart. I, I've got Paul Simon songs. I pretty much got everybody. I got Carpenter songs. That's a pretty easy one. One Carpenter song is uh, such a feeling's coming over me. There is wonder in most everything I see. Not a cloud in the sky. I got the sun in my eyes and I won't be surprised if it's a dream. Everything I want the world to be is now coming true, especially for me. And the reason is clear, it's because you are here. You're the nearest thing to heaven that I've seen. I'm on top of the world, looking down on creation. And the only explanation I can find is the love that I found. I can sense you've been around. Your love's put me on the top of the world. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, something in the wind has learned my name, and it's telling me that things are not the same. In the leaves of the trees, in the touch of the breeze, there's a pleasing sense of happiness for me. There is only one wish on my mind. When this day is over, I hope that I will find that tomorrow will be just the same for you and me. All I need will be mine if you are here. I'm on top of the world, looking down on creation, and the only explanation I can find is the love that I found. Ever since you've been around, your love's put me on top of the world. I'm on top of the world, looking down on creation, and the only explanation I can find is the love that I found ever since you've been around. Your love's put me on top of the world. Dun, 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 should be able to check that off because it's not a complete block. It has to be done through. So. And so that was a daughter, daughter. I thought love was only true in fairy tales. Meant for someone else, but not for me. Love was out to get me. That's the way it seems. It's a love that haunted all my dreams. Then I saw her face. Now I'm a believer, not a trace of doubt in my mind. I'm in love, I'm a believer, I can leave her if I try to do it. And who, who sang that song? I mean, well, it's the monkeys, yeah. But he made the song, Neil Diamond. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was a Neil Diamond song. And so this is how it sounded, mm -hmm. Neil Diamond was to sing the song. I thought love was only true in fairy tales And for someone else but not for me Love was out to get me That's the way it seemed Disappointment haunted all my dreams And I saw her face Now I'm a believer Not a trace of doubt in my mind I'm in love I'm a believer I could believe her if I tried I thought love was more or less a given thing. Seems the more I get you, the less I got. What's the use in trying? All you get is pain. When I wanted sunshine, I got rain. Then I saw her face. Now I'm a believer. Not a trace, a doubt in my mind. I'm in love. I'm a believer. I can leave her if I try to do it. Yeah, so, and I know another, uh, I know another, you want me to sing the, the, the Donald Fagan I know? So let's do a Donald Fagan tune. He's the lead singer of Steely Dan. And if you don't know it by now, Steely Dan is really, it's from an Allen Ginsberg novel. If you look up on Wikipedia, you'll find this out. Uh, it's a steam-powered dildo. Yeah, that's what a Steely Dan is. It's a steam-powered dildo. So all this time, you've been listening to a band who named themselves after a steam-powered dildo. And, uh, do you think I'm the dirty one? Uh, so... 
Donald Fagan's best album was from Night Fly that came out in the 80s, early 80s. Probably the best album ever if you're a Sweet Dan fan and you don't know of this album, I feel sorry for you because mm-hmm. your friends have been left and behind your back all this time. So, um, Donald Fagan, you, you must know him because he is the voice of Steve Dan. Probably the guy who the people that thought they were Steely Dan fans were calling Steely Dan all this time and you know the name's Donald Fagan. Um, his uh, guitarist name is Walter Becker. I think that's his name. I don't really know his name all that well, but um, Becker just died recently, and so no. he's a great, great guitarist. Um, so um, no. I'm gonna have to do these guys. So let's bring out the hay. So. Stand me top on the star and try to keep me tail. This dream's in sight. You've got to hit it. It's time. Oh, in time to destroy it. The future looks bright. On that train, a clarified and glitter. Going to see about bail. Nine minutes from New York to Paris. While that and 76 will be okay. What a beautiful earth this will be. What a glorious time to be. What a beautiful earth this will be. Ooh, what a glorious time to be. Hey, get your ticket to that really space in this time. Let fixes in, you'll be a witness to that game of chance in the sky. You know we have to win. If you're at home, you play me in the city, power by the sun. Mm-hmm. Perfect weather for a streamline world of beat. Oh, perfect weather for a streamline world of beat. Spandex jackets, one for everyone. What a beautiful world this will be. What a glorious time to be free. What a beautiful world this will be. What a glorious time to be free. da 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 on a train of craft I've never wanted to see by rail. Ninety minutes from New York to Paris, more leisure time for artists everywhere. Just machines to make big decisions. Programmed by fellows with compassion and vision. We'll be free when the work is done. We'll be eternally free, as in eternally young. Ooh, what a beautiful world this will be. What a glorious time to be free. What a beautiful world. Ooh, ah, what a glorious time to be free. Da 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 da. Okay, and then we'll do another. We'll do um do um do 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 do. This is my favorite song. Do 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 well, yes, we're going to have a wee day, a summer smoker underground. Do, da, do, do. I'm not in key. Do, da. Yes, it's a da 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 we're gonna have a weedie. Some smoke on the ground. Da 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 da. It's just a day of my debut. In case the rats decide to push the button down. Da 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 
We got provisions and lots of beer. The kid went in some fun on the new frontier. Da da da. Introduce me to that beer blonde. She's got a touch of Tuesday round. Da 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 She's wearing a bush and a fierce twist. She's got a swab and she can have it. Da 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 She likes to live with a bunch of spirit. She's got the real dynamic for the new frontier. But I can't think. I can't wait to move to the city. I finally make up my mind to learn the signs of the overseas Tell me, do you have a steady point for you? Cause honey, I've been watching you. Actually, there was a solo in there. I, I just took it out. Cause honey, I've been watching you. I heard him at about Ruby. I like to dance and I like him too. He's an artist, a pioneer. We need some music on the new frontier. Well, I can't wait to move the city. To my family, make up my mind. To learn to sign and study overseas. Let's be treated like it's a real thing. We'll stay together all night long. Dun, 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 dun. When I finally get to know you, we'll climb up into the air and climb up to the dawn. Open up the doors and find to the dog. Can you pass your special passion, your secret fear? Prepare to meet the challenge of the new frontier. I think I fell off. other songs on the album I love to sing. I like to remember the whole thing because it's good. It's like hits, non-stop hits through that entire album. And that's like one of those songs, one of those albums that you hear Steely Dan more than you hear Donald Fagan albums. It's the thing is Steely Dan is basically Donald Fagan. Um, now Steely Dan pretty much is Donald Fagan because uh, it was just Donald Fagan and Walter Becker that were the only constants in that band. If people don't know this by now, Steely Dan, the only constants were those two guys. The rest of the people changed. The idea, the reason why it's a Steve Howard Hill though, is the reason why they picked that as a name is because of the concept for the band. Um, well, maybe maybe that wasn't. Maybe that was somebody else's name. Because they joined somebody else's band. Did they call them at that when they started doing their trick? Which is basically every song is a different band, different studio musicians. They bring studio musicians to do their songs, and then they would pick which tracks made it on the album. And so they were basically kind of putting together a Frankenstein every time. And um, so the songs you heard on the Steely Dan albums were not. Um, they were. They were, each one was a different group. Each song was a different set of members. When you heard Peg, you heard one of uh, Steely Dan's original members before he moved to the Doobie Brothers. Um, um, or actually, I think he was with Steely Dan when he did Peg, but um, it was it was um, Michael McDonald. Michael McDonald singing harmony against himself is that peg you hear in that song. So, see, I know a lot about the songs, and this is perfectly a good reason for a person who likes music to create a site like Rock Me in the Days, which is the site that I'm plugging. It's my own site. It doesn't advertise. I don't take in a lot of money from it, and it basically does things that even YouTube doesn't do with their own website. For instance, um, YouTube doesn't offer the ability to their users to normalize their audio content. Um, or at least they don't fix the audio in the past to scale it up so that it fills the entire amplitude spectrum. You know, they don't raise the volume of things that are poorly recorded. They don't even give people the option to do that with their, their videos. They, the videos are at different volume levels and that's the reason why people are always twisting and turning their volume knob on every single video that they can never get a consistent level audio. 
playback, and that's because um, YouTube never addressed that problem. And I did, and how I do that is I set all my videos to a level of 25 out of 100, and if they need to be increased, I increase the volume by up to three times. Uh, if they're any quieter than that, I usually just drop them from the playlist because um, they're too quiet to even improve. And it also makes all the the music at the right volume level at what uh, the um, Hearing Institute, if there's such a place, would probably say that you don't want to be listening to things at 100 anyhow. You want to be listening at 50 or even 25 out of 100. It's good. It's good enough that you can't really tell that you've lost so much volume. Your 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 ears will will um, will accommodate um, that and be able to. I mean, if you turn it up full blast, you'll still be able to hear the music pretty well. And you'll and then you'll wonder why you could ever go to a hundred in the first place with that with that device producing that much amount of audio. And so. Okay, what am I doing on time on my recording? Oh, it's already at an hour and 20 minutes. I should probably uh, stop the video in the, it's probably stopped in this one anyhow. So let's uh, get out of here. And, uh, should stop.